I am Dr. Srinidhi Chidambaram. I am a medical doctor specialized in community medicine. I have been working at Apollo Hospitals for the group but based at Chennai in several areas. Uh, one is on health communications and digital communications and social media. The other one is on healthcare quality and I also look after the medical tourism functions for the Apollo group. Today the governments of the past and present have been doing a lot in making our country completely digital but I feel that we need to really look at how we can use digital technology. It need not be very complicated technology but simple computerization and digitization. We need to consider how it can help the millions of people who actually live in our rural areas and remote areas of India. So when it comes to our Indian healthcare system, uh, apart from the private healthcare, we have the government healthcare facilities which are used by most of the people. And what really happens is we have the primary, secondary and tertiary healthcare system. Today the first step which is supposed to address the health needs of most of the people in rural India is the primary health centre. So I really wish that we would take enough steps to make sure that every primary health centre in our country, even in the remotest area, is computerized and digitized so that every person's health data can be captured. It is to these places that people come for their basic health needs. Every mother comes for her antenatal checkup, every child comes for immunization. So I feel that, you know, however much we talk about digitization in urban areas, it is very important that in, even in these rural settings, we actually have some kind of a mechanism so that if a child comes for immunization immediately that goes into a hospital information system it is captured alerts are given and when when immunizations are missed out or when somebody comes for their tuberculosis medicines when there is a miss missing uh, stock or when there is a lack of uh, medicine available or when somebody does not come and is a defaulter which can cause a relapse or a resistant tuberculosis, immediately there is some kind of a digital technology that alerts the PHC doctor. And uh, I think also we should try to link the hospital information system and the health records so that when a person goes from a primary health centre to a district hospital and then to a government medical college hospital, all details about his history is computerized, it is available, every doctor can see it and even the patient is completely empowered by the fact that his health information is all in one place and properly available to everybody. This is one area where I really think that digitization can help because in private health sector every hospital has very elaborate hospital information systems and there are so many, every, everything, even the prescription, even the case sheet, everything is written, documented, data is collected but this we don't find so much in the rural and remote settings. So I think that is very important. But apart from that, I also think that today health education itself, earlier people used to create family planning awareness messages or put malaria control messages by writing it in the village wall or you know they used to go around with speakers inside the villages talking about it and all that. But I think today we need to you know help people to use social media in a more uh, productive way. Now today, I'm not saying the entire India is in social media, but there are a lot of people who even are on regional languages and are still on Facebook and many such uh, social media platforms. But what really happens is that, you know, it is more used for sharing jokes and things like that, which is all very well. But I think the government can also use it to give people the much needed awareness about preventive health checks to make them understand that diabetes is not a rich man's disease, everybody is affected by it, childhood obesity is another one and then to make sure that your immunizations are done, to know the symptoms of dengue, in the dengue season you put out messages and make sure that you know it's interesting and everybody understands and they take the preventive measures. I think there is nothing that reaches out to people instantly and so beautifully people have used social media in India for many many purposes nowadays it is used by the governments by politicians by political parties for many many purposes but I think it can be used for creating the awareness of health because today we are actually in the brink of a disaster soon we are going to become the diabetes capital of the world the cancer capital of the world and we don't even realize it so I think social media is the next big thing that 
governments must use for propaganda and propagating health awareness messages and it should be the face of community medicine and public health henceforth. There are many remote areas in India where even the social media or a telephone or a computer or an internet may not work, they may not be power supply. So in such areas, I think the way to go, this was actually conceived long ago by our chairman Dr. Pratap C. Reddy, where he brought the concept of telemedicine to the country. This is a very, very good concept because in even to rural areas, it is a big challenge for our doctors to go and settle down there and you know it is very altruistic to say that you can go to your rural roots and serve the people but in reality it never happens because a doctor has his family and you know many many reasons are there for people who don't want to migrate from cities then how do you access these kind of doctors if a person from a village wants uh, expert advice from the best cardiothoracic surgeon in south india can't expect the man to go and settle there or go once in a while, it doesn't help. But we now have this whole process of telemedicine where by regular consultations and not just consultations, now people can look at ECGs, X-rays, monitor them, everything can be done, critical care can be monitored at a remote location. So today this whole remote healthcare is another offshoot of IT and digitization, usage of technology, which I think is so crucial for a large country where there are vast tracts of very, very remote backward areas. I think, you know, this is another initiative where we really need to make sure that this kind of access is given to the poor people and the people in the backward areas of India. See, today we know that even in large hospitals, even in the best of the corporate hospitals, unless we actually capture data, keep on compiling it, coding it and preserving it, we cannot analyze it, we cannot measure it. So I really think that just manual writing of case sheets, manual history, oral, uh, uh, oral uh, verbal orders, these kind of things don't help in quality in the long run. So I really feel that every hospital should also have this kind of hospital information system where health data can be captured and what we do in Apollo is that most of our data is captured and analyzed and we also have all our hospitals enter these data in an online platform which is reviewed and analyzed and benchmarked with the best hospitals in the world and it's called the Apollo Clinical Excellence Dashboard. So this kind of dashboards can be created only when there is a proper healthcare IT department in a hospital. You can create dashboards and daily monitor your, your length of stay of the patients, the infection rates, the falls, the safety issues. You can monitor so many things and score them as red, green and yellow. I mean, this, all this can be done at just the click of a mouse when you have a digital hospital, which is why we have been moving towards complete paperless hospitals and digital hospitals, and they are the hospitals of the future. So that is another thing which we, it's, it's a long way to go for our entire country's healthcare system to become like that, but we need to make a beginning and move ahead. Medical tourism, yes, India has been a traditional destination for people from many countries. Now earlier we used to have people from the neighboring countries, now we actually have people from even the developed countries like the US and Europe and uh, Canada coming to us for treatment. A lot of people come from Africa. Now that is where uh, in order to make people aware that our facilities are available, there comes the role of the whole web and the website and all the aspects which go into website creation, optimization, making it very user friendly. There is a whole science and art behind constructing such a website and that is one area where we have been working on to make sure that people are aware of our facilities in any part of the world. And then there is this whole system of managing an international patient when he comes in terms of, he, he could obviously would not be, you know, like immediately in our vicinity so he sends an email and that whole process of tracking it building a dashboard replying to him and the whole thing actually goes on an email and an online platform and finally you know it is com when the patient comes he's happy because you know the whole thing has been managed completely through digital technology so medical tourism is also helped a lot by our digital resources and digital platforms that we have thank you